<laughs> Hello and yes, welcome to movie, another so. episode of the Mother. <laughs> I think the battery's died last I time. Space yeah! break show. Yeah. Son of a bitch, I checked the batteries before we started. I ran it five times, it worked fine. Don't curse in the first five minutes, we'll get demonetized. Embarrassing me. You stupid thing. It worked. Uh, hey, we're so happy you're here. Uh, I'm here, Emily's here. Hi. Eric's here. Hello. Uh, got uh, Zimbear is here. It looks Barbie's like Shaq here. is here somewhere. Chipettes here. We got the Chipettes here. Uh, and uh, let's have some fun, shall we? Yeah. How's your Monday going so far, Eric? So far, so good. He has been a little off today. Yeah. All day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did a recording earlier today on Anna, and uh -huh. I just, he felt the, I don't know, I feel like I, like maybe I did something wrong or I yeah. said something wrong. And he's been, and then you, you have your business jacket on today, and you've been, <laughs> you've had a business attitude all day. Yeah. Been, I've, I, yeah. Today's the day that a, I do all five jobs of mine in yeah. one day. Yeah. Bit of a <laughs> bit of a landmine. It's weird. It's Jeff is like, oh, everyone else is like the problem. Uh -huh. That's so strange. Yeah. If everybody else is the problem, stop being in the problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is you're, that what they say? If everyone else is the it. problem, then you're always the victim, yeah. which is your favorite If everyone role. else is the problem, <laughs> it clearly can't be you because yep. you notice the problem. Yeah, you're oh, the yeah. victim. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Jeff. Today oh. is a great day to open some cards, but what are we going for? What's like the main event of today's show? Oh my God, Eric, I'm so glad you asked. Okay. I've been wanting to open this for a while. As you know, I'm a fame and a clout chaser. Did you just chaser. drool? No, I just. <laughs> He's in a bad mood. He's drooling everywhere. God damn. He's doing the show He's dog gold. style. No, okay. hey, listen, I gaslight you guys, not the other way around. <laughs> See how quickly it changes. Yeah, it's really, yeah. That's why he gets so pissed with the fuckface guys. He's like. <laughs> No! Stop! Did I you're, drool? You're drooling on the oh. sack pack. Oh, and it got all over me, too. Almost as much as the pee got on you at the vet today. It did, and I Ew. still am in my pee pants. You got pee pants, dog. I do. He got real excited little, and a little... A little <laughs> little covered. LeBron Wisdom. James Jr. just pissing everywhere. Baby Bronny, uh, yeah. She, dog peed all over. We were he did not pee all over me. He just had a little piddle. <laughs> and and like, because he was only calm at the vet in my arms. Uh, I was like, what are the chances you're changing so, pants? Since today? I have not stopped yeah. moving, here I am in my so, pee pants. But these are this is what we're gunning, this is what we're gunning for today, right? Yeah, this we're is opening. the big one. Uh this tops chrome. McDonald's, All American Games, uh, but this is a hobby box. You can buy these at Walmart. They're pretty cheap. They look like you get a, you get a. Uh, what is happening? I'm trying to find one. Oh, for example, Blaster. Look like this. You yes. see them all over the place. Uh, typically, these cards aren't worth much. Okay. Typically, this is only the second year they've done it, but they're not worth much. But uh, this year, Bronny James is in it. He's signing ah. autos in it. Those autos are going for a lot of fucking money, cool. like over a thousand dollars. And so I thought it'd be fun to try to go. For, like I said, yeah. clout and fame chase. Yeah. yeah. That's us. Yeah. Classic. Classic, Classic us. I love so, fucking love clout. We we'll, we'll, mm, we'll, love it. We'll chase that auto at the end. Of the Would episode. we sell it as maybe our first sale of if we got the auto? Oh, maybe. Because this is the time I feel like to cash in on that. You know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Based, I'm sorry. Based on what? Based on like how you had like a lot of Zion cards when they first came out. <laughs> and you were so really on, chasing based on, them. Based, and based on the ups and the downs. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. that uh, he could maybe have another little uh -huh. heart situation where he doesn't I'm, play at all. Speaking of Zion, yeah. playing the Celtics tonight. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Well. We fucking, we sucked buttholes yeah, against the Clippers this weekend. Everybody's all up in arms. They're getting that new stadium. Are you going to go sit in the Clippers section? Yeah, dude, I definitely will. Did you see the clip of that, people talking about it, and it's <laughs> Snoop Dogg, and he's like, it's going to be pretty empty. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was pretty funny. So that are they not going to change over the stadium or so, anymore? Or oh, what? The Clippers no. are building a new stadium. Yeah, they're, oh. they're building a stadium out in Inglewood. They've been working on it for a while, oh, and it's going to be their own stadium, Next so they don't have to fire. share. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, that sounds like over there. Mm -hmm. um, but, the, you know, the, the rub is that nobody gives a shit about the Clippers yeah. in that way. and Except for Billy Crystal, I think. He's yeah. like the only yeah, fan yeah. they have. I thought he's like the big Vets fan. That's baseball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what else we got Anyways. today, Jeff? Uh, well, you know, uh, <laughs> the last couple times we've done this show, I have cool. sadly covered in soda from my spill. That's weird how that happened on It's crazy Tesla. how I did that to you. <laughs> it's crazy how I, that. I did that I to you. Nobody said that. Now you're gaslighting me. Uh, okay. Uh, we, we always uh, will come in at the beginning, we'll open up the pack sack, and then we'll also show the cards from last week that yeah. were the hits, and then mm -hmm. I'll, I'll value them, show you how much they're worth, okay? Mm -hmm. I forgot to do that the last couple weeks, but I did it today, so I pulled some of the cards I found uh, from the last couple episodes that we haven't graded yet. This 89 Sterling Sharp rookie, yeah. uh, Hall of Famer Sterling Sharp. Uh, when we're dealing with these old junk wax cards, we only speak in, in values of PSA 10. 
because those are the most exciting and also the least attainable. This would run you 75 bucks wow. as a PSA 10. Dang, really? Yeah, anything under that will run you About two, two bucks. bucks. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, while we were there, just because he was such a ah. fucking a force to be reckoned with, Joe Montana. Mm -hmm. How much do you think it is? I like this game. This is where I have fun. Okay, sorry, yeah. 65 bucks. Under. Under? PSA 10, uh, run about 60 bucks. Nice. So you, you nailed point. that one. All right, this Bo Jackson, uh, Chicago White Sox. What do you think? And you're going by PSA 10 grade? White Sox fan. Uh, yeah, the PSA 10 of the 1991 mm. Bo Jackson Upper Deck. 90 bucks. That one's 90 okay. bucks. Uh, under. $30. Damn. Damn. Wow, this really? This Ken Griffey Jr. oversized Bowman rookie. Uh, what do you think a PSA 10 on that sucker is going to be? It's a rookie? Yeah. 75. Over. PSA 10 will run you about $225. Wow. Kind of On that shitty looking card, too? Yeah. Wow. That's not his signature. This Ronald McDonald. <laughs> oh. uh, je, uh, sell, that looks so card. good up against It is really nice. It's from the classic. It's a classic uh, fuck face right there. What do you think that'll run? I couldn't find a PSA 10. So I'm Seven bucks. Right Seven. It's $1.25. Yeah, it's, yeah, I was pretty bummed about that. Uh, the, you remember when we opened up all those uh, <coughs> those uh, Blizzard cards? Oh yeah, dude, oh, yeah. I love Blizzard yeah. so much. These were the uh, the War Banners. These are like their oh. relics. What do you think these puppies run? Mm, let me see. I should have talked to Fisher before the show. Uh, eight bucks total. Over. Uh, about fifteen bucks each. Wow. wow. Yeah, God, Emily, I think you're a it perfect today. score. Yeah, you're killing it. Yeah, I'm, go. I'm really good at gambling. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I really like the guessing game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I looked through all these war. <laughs> stupid Blizzard cards to find any of them that are worth money. This is the Gom Spectral Parallel. Yeah. You can see it's uh, four bucks. Yeah. Oh, under. That's my guess. Ten dollars. Oh, he won. She's but, so I, I was cracking her armor. Yeah. Uh, here's the Illidan Spectral Parallel. Illidan. Six bucks. Over. Uh, $10. Yes. Damn. Yeah. And then also somebody sent us in some cards and they sent us a, we got a, we pulled a U Darvish Topps rookie. Oh, that's uh, a pretty cool card. 12 bucks. Uh, over. $2. Wow. Yeah. That's it? I know. I was a little bummed by that. And then uh, the Magic Johnson AIDS card. <laughs> oh. Now, I uh. found a value for this card. I, a P and a PSA 10. This is clearly not a PSA 10. Also, this is the green parallel. Oh, right, yeah. I don't yeah. even know what it's called, mm -hmm. but the, the card I saw was the base card, PSA 10. What do you think that ran? 17.50. Over. 30 fucking dollars. Wow! Yeah. So if this wasn't all scratched to hell, who knows what this one would be? Damn. Like, probably 50 or 60. That's crazy. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. Magic Johnson has value wherever he is. Yeah, not bad, right? Yeah. Hey, um, that was fun doing that with cards. You know what else is fun? It's finding out if it does, because Does It Do has a new season that just came out, and the first episode is out now. And if you have not watched that yet, I advise you to go watch Does It Do, so that way you can see if it does. Is it like a show we do or something? It is a show you do, and you do do it, and it does. Uh, you do it with Gavin. Yeah. <laughs> you, you guys do it, it. Yeah. finally. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> I love you. I I'm gonna slow mo kiss you. I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, give me your little penis. Okay. And then by the end, you guys are just covered in each other's stickiness. Uh, yeah, we're just it's a very talking. sticky show, and you can watch it at fuckfacepod.com or right here on our YouTube channel. It's out now. Go check it out because uh, Shady Rays is a sponsor, and it was a lot of fun. And Gracie did a great job. It was Gracie's first production. Hey. And it's not porn. It could All right, be. Gracie. Gracie's mom is commenting on Instagrams. <gasps> Yay! Uh, <laughs> Gracie's in a Rooster Teeth Instagram video that we did for Face Jam. Oh. And her mom was like, if Gracie doesn't like it, I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> Gracie, I love it. Gracie replied, thanks, mom. <laughs> thanks, mom. <laughs> we love a supportive parent. Yeah, we do. I want to get a good shout out to my mom. Hi, mom. Hi, Hi Jackie. Mom. I love you. Hi, Jackie. My parents. Uh, she got a new flashlight. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me. Tell me about. <laughs> For hurricanes and stuff. Just, Is it one of those ones that you have like, to hand crank? Yeah. Oh god. I think I have a radio on it too. Oh, that you know about. what? We love a survivalist. <laughs> that made Eric choke. We lost Eric for a second there. Uh, pulled that from the pack sack, as you know. Every week we pull a, a pack from the pack sack, and it gifts us uh, treasure. Uh, we fill back Eric's in. not well. Uh, Eric has a problem with water. Uh, you know this. Oh, the curse is still here. Uh, <gasps> 
It's like the Phantom the of the news, Opera. The news with your mom is she got a new flashlight. It's like a flashlight. She looks. Oh, it's so funny. She lives on the Gulf Coast. Oh, Don't worry about hurricanes down there. Fuck. Uh, okay, so there's a back of 2022, 2023 hoops card. Jesus Christ. Now I'm all wet. <laughs> fuck, uh. dude. That was so funny. What a fucking deal. Yeah. What an update. She, she got a new flashlight. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I think that, that needs to be our new segment is like, what's our Jackie update? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shane oh. Sharp, base rookie. SGA. Ooh, Chet rookie. Currently, uh, he might end up in the rookie of the year. Though. Yeah. Let's go ahead and sleep this. Uh, Jalen Suggs. Mm -hmm. She's having a... Uh, uh, becoming a hell of a defensive player mm -hmm. this year. Uh, ooh, Cam Thomas does not play for that team anymore. Uh, oh, Davis Bertons, the uh, human cartoon man, cartoon villain man. Norm Powell. Uh -huh. Why would you name a kid Norm? Norm! So you can do that. Yeah, I guess so. Danny Green. Gordon Hayward. Remember when he was a player in the NBA? Remember yeah. when he cracked his, like, uh, snapped his ankle on yeah, TV? Unfortunately, I watched it all. 120 to 120 inch screen. Yeah. A million I did. It was fucking horrible. Go backwards. His leg was bigger than his leg. Yep. yep. Pat Connaughton on the screen we watched it on. Uh, Peyton Pritchard, Fast P, as they're calling him these days. <laughs> Isaiah Livers. He's still struggling. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Really got me. Uh, Dylan Brooks, Purple Parallel. We'll sleeve that. He's a villain of the NBA. Yeah. Why? It's, yeah, it's fun. What's he his is. deal? He's just a bad he's a, he's like a Draymond kind of guy. Ooh. Yeah. Sour. So Draymond is just back and like not fussing he's around. He's back, baby, and he's Muted. trying to punch Anthony Davis. Yeah. Was he? Uh, yeah. He, he tried to. <laughs> Even Donovan after he came Mitchell. Back? Yeah, it was yeah, it was, was pretty cool. Like you just see him like a oh don't do it. Oh, yeah. he, don't like, do it. he goes, oh, 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 kind of, oh, like, look at oh, that guy. Can't control it. Controlling a snake. Like, oh, like, it was great. Like Jim Carrey and Liar. Uh, control. It, it really was. Uh, what's the guy's oh. name? What's the other guy? Uh, the guy from Princess Bride? Andre the Giant. No. no. Car Mandy Patinkin. Carrie S. Carrie Ells. Is yeah. that his name? Yeah. Because yeah. he's like the stepfather or mm -hmm. whatever in that. And I love when he goes like, oh, the claw oh is coming God. to get you. And like, the kid's like, this fucking guy. That's funny. <laughs> That's great. It's a good moment. That's great. This Rookie Remembrance? Pull the Jalen Green uh, relic card, mem card. Wow. Let's see if it's from, let's see. The enclosed officially licensed material is not associated with any specific player, game, or Aww. event. So here we have a piece of what appears to be Jalen Green's uh, rookie uh, jersey, but it, but uh, they went, on the back says eh, probably not. They went to really. Uh, yeah, kind yeah, of they went to uh, that That's why you gotta read the back. Went to Dick Sporting Goods, started yeah. uh, grabbing the scissors and cutting it up and just uh, putting them in the back of cards. It's one of the wow. reasons. One of the reasons people shit on Panini. Mm -hmm. and very good reason too. Mm -hmm. So, but now like, next why fucking do it. Yeah. Right? Next year, Panini, its tops has NBA, right? Or well, Fanatics has yeah. NBA, okay. and Fanatics owns Pops now. <clears throat> so, um, so we'll see. I think t uh, that's going to be a little bit down the road, 2024, 20, 2025, or 2026. So next year, things won't be Panini. I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know yet how it's going to shake out. Stay tuned. What do we uh, What do we got next, Jeff? Let's have some fun. That's and, finally uh, for the first time on this show. Let's We're going to do it, guys. The This. Okay. Country Classic Whoa. Series oh. 1. Yay. Special subsets, autographs, and gold cards. Holy shit, there's chase cards in this. There's never chase cards in these things. Whoa. I hope it's a gold Tanya. I, ooh, hey, I get Williams a, Jr. On, on card auto? I want to get a 101 Dolly auto. Oh, oh my God. I would die. Good luck. I would die. Can we get a uh, Dollywood this year? Lee Greenwood, sure. I would love to, yeah. Mega 64 went. They won't, it. they will not shut up about it. They fucking loved it. When did they go? They went when they <gasps> to tour last year or the year before. Let's fuck let's does, do the uh, fuck face thing there. Does Barbara like uh amusement parks like that? I think she's probably medium on them. She, I think she would have fun. And that Especially would be if we're fun. all together. Yeah, exactly. Well, plus it's like it's yeah. Uh go out to the Appalachian Mountain. You know think yeah. about Lee Greenwood? He's a proud to be proud American. To be American. <laughs> yeah. That's how you knew it was Friday at my elementary yeah. school was they played that <laughs> song over the loudspeaker. <laughs> I, I think I've told this in other places before, but when I was in the Army in, at Fort Hood, one of the first jobs, recurring jobs I had to do in public affairs was every month there would be a in-processing uh, assembly where they would bring soldiers and their wives and their kids into a movie theater and you'd have to fucking... Propaganda? You know, yeah, well, they would put up a... They'd make them watch a... a a slideshow, oh. like with slides, oh. chuk, 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 and it would be like a montage 
of shit from Fort Hood, like guys, you know, like just like jets fighting and helicopters yeah. and dust and fucking howitzers. You huffing gas and in the back. Me huffing gas in the back. <laughs> and, uh, and it would be like, and then somebody would come out and like the chaplain would come out and he'd be like, well, here's the services the chaplain offers. And then somebody would come out and go like, be sure to go by the PX and get your discount, yeah. you know, and all that. And, uh, and my responsibility was to set up the, the slideshow. I had to set up the screen. Oh, really? They wouldn't let me use the movie theater screen, even though we were in a movie theater. So I had to set up these screens I had to rent that were like vinyl what and like, a snap thing. them in. Yeah. And then I, I was the guy that I sat behind and went, yep. And if I got it wrong, my boss would sit in the audience. And if I got it wrong, because he created the slideshow, yeah. I was proud of it. If I fucked it up, he'd make me do it over and over again until I got it, until I, was, until I learned better. Whew, Sounds like it. something he should have just done. And it was the goddamn Proud to be an American song. Yeah, That's why, of course. bring it all back around. Proud so I had to hear this song 150 billion times. Yep. Merle Haggard. Hey. All right. Hank Williams Jr. All right, we there were talking he is. about his dad Bo this morning. Bo Cephas. Uh, George Jones. Uh, yeah. There he is, the, the possum. possum. <laughs> yeah. The fucking possum. The fucking white light. No show, no show Rabbit. Jones, baby. Dude, these are some heavy hitters. Gary Norris. You know, it's so crazy how they make out uh, Gene Autry. him and uh, what, who was the one that he was in love with? I'm just Daniel Tucker. Gale. Yeah, and that they were like uh, so obsessed with each other. And they yeah. meant to be, and he's there to look at her. But it was really his like second or third, like they weren't married for that long, mm -hmm. but it was actually his other wife that like got him to show up to shows on yeah. time and like mm. actually do stuff. And like who he's buried next hey, to. Hey, put the uh, drink down and get out there. Yeah, she's yeah. like, come on, Oh, awesome. if you insist. Yeah. Somebody sent us these last week, I think in the mail or recently, 2023 National Hockey Card Day mm -hmm. deck pack. I think we opened up one already, pretty sure. Let's see what we got this pack. Uh, oh, Legends of the Ice. I've heard of this guy, Wayne Gretzky. Never heard of hey. him. They call him the, the really good one. I think that's his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a young one. We saw, yeah. He played for the Kings when I was growing up. My dad was oh, a yeah. huge fan, and my sister had a total crush on him. He was an oily boy then. Yeah. Uh, Andre Kuzmento. Mark Messier. Ooh, oh, these are that. these are the heavy hitters. Uh, what are these, Alex like Ovechkin. See, these are like '94. What are these? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where these came from. Uh, like I think it's just like a greatest hits type. Thing. About these. Shane Wright. Oh yeah, these are new because there's the Krakens. Like the entire <laughs> 31 card set. There you go. Huh. Okay, here's a pack of you know uh, this is Top Stadium Club okay. 1994. Here's what I remember about this pack. Okay. I bought this pack in Marine City, Michigan, at an antique store. Ah, I remember when we went there. Yeah. Lady was very nice. I went back in and bought more cards from her. I, I was buying fudge next door. Nice. <laughs> Emily was buying the fudge. How's the uh, weather in Michigan right now? It's icy. Oh. It's cold. But it's 70 degrees in Austin today. It's beautiful. Dude, it was a hot. Yeah, I heard you popped your shirt off yesterday. Oh, oh. It's nice, I popped right? the tarp and I went out back. You popped for, the tarp? Oh, yeah. I took took that shirt off. Oh, I thought like, you like laid out a tarp. No way. <laughs> took that shirt off, hung out in the sunshine. You Great. did that the other day, too. That's why yeah. I got inspired. This is the big hurt. Him and beef or Frank whatever. Thomas. Oh, fuck yeah. Me and Big Beefy. Yep. Uh, 93 award winners, whatever. Cool. Uh, Danny Tartable. Oh, damn. That's such yeah, a cool fuck name. It. Here's a cool Love name from a player I've never heard of, I must admit. Uh, is this two cards stuck together? Yes. Hold on. God damn it. These old ass cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Jayhawk Owens. Wow. You know who Jayhawk Owens is? No, it's Played a... for the... Jayhawk is a great first Colorado name. Rockies. That's a good baseball name. Right? Dude, he ripped yeah. his mask off to throw that Fuck too. yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Roberts, Robertson. Uh, Mike Stanton. Ron Darling. Gene Harris. The, Ooh, Chris Hammond rookie. The yes. type or like the text on it on the back especially is so of a time. Like, yeah, so like, like the early 90s. So 1994. A bunch yeah. of different fonts oh, yeah. Yeah. and like. Yeah. Hey, check it out. This makes you insane. Drink a surge. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it should say at the bottom, it should say designed in Photoshop yeah. 3.0. Everything, uh, Kevin it Stoker. looks like the old Cherry Coke. The whole fucking back just looks like the way Cherry Coke looked. Uh -huh. Tim Hewlett. Ah! <laughs> He's angel in the outfield. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, ooh, John Patterson. This is some sort of a parallel. A silver foil parallel there. And then Ricky Bone. Hey, hey that's body a good part. One. Body that. part, big time. We build a human out of. We're yep. gonna build a human mm -hmm. this year. That's what we're gonna do in 2024. We're gonna build a human. Well, out of Gracie cars. just did a really good job of getting a display case that we're gonna be hanging up, figuring out. Um, yes, yeah, so we can so show we can, it all off. So we can show off a lot of stuff. Of the cool stuff. Yeah, we get. they're gonna hate the glare that comes across from it, but you know. No, yeah, they will. Yeah. We won't. Sorry, Justin. Why don't you just take the glass out? Here's some. Uh, ma here's some mail we got. Okay. We got some mail. Yeah, we got this the other week. Somebody made these things. What the ah. fuck? What are you doing? It's Emily's pick. <gasps> oh, like, oh my god! That's name. So we oh, can wow. set them up. So we can put them oh, in the. Oh, put them in the display case. case. We got Gus's pick, Eric's wow. pick. So, so 
We got the like, oh, look at these. Oh, hell yeah. So cool. Zimmer for Don Zimmer. Oh, these are really cool. We got cool. food, we got law wow. firm, we got game. We got game, the Dench, these are great. Dame Judy Dench. Oh, these are gonna High be leg display kick, case. best in show, yeah. worst in show. See, this is what this I'm is talking great. about. And then we can just like, they're magnetic. So you can be like, boom, high leg. This is How from uh, cool is Chris. Thank you, Chris. I think this note was probably from those because you dumped everything yeah, out. But it was, it was. Alongside the card stands, I've included a couple packs of cards for you. My original parcel got lost somewhere around stage five last year, but I hope these will suffice. Dude, okay, they're perfect. You're Dude, so that happens. fucking British. Things get lost. Uh, within the cards is a, wait, within the cards is a card of Vinny Jones? Oh, man. I can't believe that guy <gasps> was an actual football player. Oh, Vinny Vinvin. Yep, there, there he is right there. There he is. Bullet Vinny Tooth Jones. Tony Bullet, himself. Yeah, there you go. Who... Didn't get, I didn't get that it was the joke that he was a footballer. Just <laughs> thought he was a tough looking actor guy. So did I just put my favorite card on here? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Whatever you, like whatever your pick of the week is, you can put it on Emily's pick and then set it right there. Or we'll put is it in it the display case. Oh, we'll definitely put it in the display case. Ooh, I can put it right there. And yeah. they, they also sent in American Gladiator cards, <laughs> uh, cool. Lego cards, uh -huh. and then a bunch of 9091 well, NFL Pro Set. Well, you gotta feed soccer. the pack sack, so you gotta figure that out. And then put the two in the pack sack. Go. And then let's open up these. I've never let's even do heard it. of these Lego cards before. I forgot to. Oh, dude. Oh, boy. Red, brick, gray, square. <gasps> Ooh, what about the little Man thing with in brown the hair? Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> there's a programmer. One zero one one zero one zero zero one one one. She's she's a material girl. It says fuck. Uh, what? Living in a digital world. Uh, here is a uh, ooh, ooh uh, fox that's... costume girl. Oh, it got a, it got the chicken. That's a then, this is like a Dragon Con kind of thing, right? Yeah, dude, check this shit out. Cool wheelbarrow. Oh, pretty cool. We gotta save that. Pretty cool card. Wheelbarrow card. That's gonna, You're gonna you gonna love that. Wait till you take a look at the cracked ice silver parallel of what corn cob Hell guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's the awesome. corn cob Yo, guy. That that's Hell card yeah. of the cool. day so far. It's Jess picks so that's far. Really good. Sleep that's really good. That that's fucking awesome. Like corn cob guy. Corn Hell cob yeah. guy's in there, baby. He's my dude. That's pretty cool. I like that. I need to take you to the corn cob arena. The fuck did you just yeah. say? Yeah, I think it's in like Iowa or something where there's an entire arena, like cute, like basketball size arena made out of corn cobs. <laughs> I think it's called like the Corn Palace. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I, I, I desperately so, want to go. And like the whole wall, you just like walk and it's just dried corn cobs. It's pretty cool. Gross. Do, you, do you think that's what, like the Cow Palace is like the same thing? <laughs> it's just, just dried shit everywhere. <laughs> Bones. Uh, American Gladiators uh, hanging by a thread. Mm -hmm. Aiming the rocket pistol. <laughs> Whoa. Gemini the victor. Yeah! I was a Gemini, so I always felt like a special connection. <laughs> Look at Gemini. how fucking big yeah. his arms are. He's a big fucking dude. That is outrageous. We need to watch that documentary. Oh, that, that looks God. like you. Jeff's been That's working out. So, look oh, at that. Oh, I know. Dude. Me and Gemini. Uh, there's a maze. There it is. Wow. Ice hangs tough. Oh, that's, that's cool. Me. Whoa. <laughs> Hanging tough. Cool, man. This is that new kids on the block, right? It was. Uh, nitro glistening. Oh, his tits <laughs> are glistening. That's good. Let's sleeve that. Wow. That's fucking clever. Does that uh, count as like, food again. for like hot dogs? Man. A Dude, Jim and I, Jim and I should have done wrestling. <laughs> yeah. I think any of these guys probably could have done wrestling. Hand bike. Yep. Oh, that's Hand cool. bike! That's an American Ninja Warrior shit. Yeah. I guess all of it was, right? That's this? glistening. Well, she keeps looking at nitro glistening. It's like <laughs> fucked up. His t his tits look better than mine. <laughs> God. Let me see. It's close. Mmm, neck and neck. Uh, <laughs> I need to get some shimmer. Glisten up. Glenn Snowden. Oh, uh, when you said football cards, this isn't what I thought they yeah. were. Kevin what Campbell. A, what a bummer. It's Jimmy a, Case. 91 football cards, and I thought we were going to be talking about Natron Means. These are all stepdads. And we're just talking, yeah, we're all talking, just talking about stepdads. Paul Parker. You know these dudes into hard living, too. <sighs> Kevin Bond. None of them look like this anymore. This is the. Tony Adams. This is the thing where it's like Ryan Larry Laws. Bird would talk about eating hot dogs like before the Danny game Wallace, or whatever. Yeah. Like, <laughs> these guys are eating hot dogs. Let me get that hat. Let me get that. <laughs> they were drinking beer. Let me beer. get time out hot dog. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and this wise. Cute jalapenos on that. Uh, Trevor Hebbard. All right, there we go. Some of those. That was cool. Let's fuck with. You know what? It's football season. Yeah. We're about to go into a super. Football's bowl. over. Yeah. It's Football's fucking, over. Yeah. yeah it's a rough. Day I have some ideas about football. What do you have? Mm. Ways to improve it. We'll see you in the next couple weeks.
Do you want to see? You want? Do you think that the Lions should have played in the first, in the second half, the way they played in the first half? I think they should have played in the second next half. Year. Hey. Next year. Next uh, year. Let's let's see if we can get a, a Go Lions. Stuff. Let's see if we can get a real feed, Travis Kelsey card. Feed the pack sack. Oh, feed it. Feed the pack he's sack. hungry. He dates. <laughs> he's dating uh, Taylor Swift. I was heard. I was listening to Bill Simmons today, and he was saying they were saying, wouldn't it be cool if at the Super Bowl. After Travis Kelsey scores, or if they win, he pulls a diamond ring like out of his shoe, and then he proposes to. That her. would be. He would crazy. catch a touchdown with a diamond ring in his shoe. Yeah. 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 I that saw, seems like it would be detrimental in the Super Bowl. There's a lot of stuff, and your wife would know Nina more about Johnson, this of like how like the number 13 is her favorite yeah. number. Mm -hmm. I think Mitch that Smith the set, if you add up the Devontis Super Bowl numbers, it's 13. There's a bunch of different like 13 things, and it's the 13th game that she's gone to, <gasps> and. Uh, Something, a bunch of other 13s. I just, and Abraham Lincoln and JFK were the same person. Yeah. <gasps> yes. <coughs> I just told her Smith, I think it's cool if they went and then Adams, suit Edward, and then on the field is Taylor Swift. And Hill. I think that would just be nice. But she's Sean just Watson. down there. Yeah, she's just, just like, you know, them. supporting Travis Kelsey winning the Super Bowl. That'd be really yeah. cool. And then she could be in a chunky soup commercial. Does your <laughs> wife watch Chiefs games be to see Taylor Swift? I don't think it's necessarily because Dante of Johnson. or like it's definitely Taylor Swift influence, but it's not like she's seeking them out. Jalen Rager. She Football's looks up on. from her Kindle while you're yes, watching it. One hundred percent, and then she'll ask me, "What's the pocket?" Or uh, what is a touchback? Jeff or, is. Why aren't they stopping the clock? Helping me with that, where it was, yeah. he was like, "Okay, now they have to do something this time, yeah. or else it's nothing." Okay. Told her, I, she said, "Why is the clock management so poor going into this quarter <laughs> when it's clear that they have three touchdowns? Why did they use a touch? Why?" Why did they use a timeout here yes. to stop the clock at this point? Why did they run? This doesn't make any sense. And I said, that's great analysis. Yeah, and she was right. Uh, Nick Chubb. <laughs> <laughs> Body Dio, <part. laughs> Dio Odiingo, Ingbo, Rashad Bateman. NFL, that's a nice card. Save that. No Kelsey yet. Not yet. Any lions? You'll even, honestly, you'll even take a Jason yeah. Kelsey. I will take a Jason Kelsey. He parties. Byron Jones. <laughs> yeah, he does. Roquan Smith got game. That's a cool card. Good game. parallel. I like that. Uh, Travis Etienne Jr. rookie. He's a very good player. Uh, Eric Stokes, base rookie. Supposedly Taylor has to fly from Tokyo. She has a show on I the 10th. She's going to make it. Though. And then she is going to fly directly to Vegas. Yeah, I think she'll probably make it. Ooh, she will. Kyle Pitts, silver uh, prism rookie. That's nice. nice. That's probably the best Love one. Love lifts so us sleeve, up where we belong. Sleeve that. Daniel Sorensen. Who love is red. Xavier or, Collins. Well, I think that's the song. Le Karma is something. Karma is a cat. Mm, but Karma is a, the player on the Chiefs. Mm. Isn't that what she said? Huh? Everything I know about Taylor Swift, I get through your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her tonight. Yeah. Ed Oliver, Devin White, ooh, Cam Akers, and then uh, Christian McCaffrey. He uh, he plays for the bad guys. Uh, Not in he, that, though. He, uh, Panthers? Yeah, he plays for the 49ers. He, Had a good day. He was running people. It was like the Lions forgot how to tackle. Yeah. I don't know it what really it is about wrapping someone up and taking them down that they forgot how to do. But boy, they forgot how to do it. They forgot how to do it hard. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What do we got? Silver oh, Walter Payton. Oh. Oh. oh, shit. Javante Williams. Cool. Uh, blue Wave rookie or whatever it's called. Uh, oh, okay. shit. Trey Lance rookie, okay. base rookie. Oh, oh shit. Br uh, base Travis oh. Kelsey. Oh. Yeah, we got it. Cool. Fucking stupid. That's fun. I wonder what that dude's rookie cards go for. Do you think that next year his now. cards will yeah. say, like, dating Taylor Swift? Pro I'm sure that's what they'll say. <laughs> Anna Campbell's Chunky Soup what commercial with his mom. Last year. Uh, Plaxico. Touchdown Masters. Dude, why'd you just, why'd you just Plax gloss over Plaxico, Plaxico Burris? Burris? This is 2020. He's my favorite guy that shot himself in his own leg wearing sweatpants to a strip club and having a gun inside his sweatpants. Should what? we have a shot, himself, shot, shot themselves team? 100%. Yeah, let's put Plaxico in there. Uh, oh, T. Higgins. My guy. Okay. How do you and wear, how do you wear sweatpants? How are you wearing sweatpants with a gun? How else are they the going to peep his big dong if you're not wearing gray sweatpants? Wow, it's a big dong. No, it's a gun. It's a gun. Let me show you. Ow. <laughs> Eric, uh, you were very excited about these. These just came out. You oh, requested yeah. that we buy them. I just wanted to buy one pack, and you're like, give me four. I got like, four Damn. boxes. Uh, so these are AEW 2023. Are they upper deck? 
I haven't seen these. I'm, I'm very curious to see what's inside and Let's see. what well, the chase is, etc. Do not like the way their blaster box works. Yeah, me neither. I'll put a pack sack cool. in. How do you feel about Vince McMahon um, <laughs> if, like being a really cool guy? If anyone didn't see that coming, it's like they weren't paying attention. It yeah. uh, really, like, of course. I think I was more surprised Goodness. that people were surprised. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But you're like, yeah. Long time coming. Lock them up. Throw away the key. Fine with that. Oof. But what do we got in these AEW cards? Hit me with it. Not Vince McMahon. Uh, Chris Statlander. She's from Long Island. She's got those uh, jeans with holes in them that yeah. I don't get. Yeah, she's tough. Uh, oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, how about Dante Martin? Dante Martin. One half of top flight. Was oh, he in the military? Uh, no. Oh. So he yeah. just he jumps over the top rope a lot. Oh. Yeah. He does some crazy shit. It's pretty cool. Is there a team called Medium Flight and they jump through the ropes? No. There's two guys who are ex-military and they salute. That's pretty good. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, what about Soraya? Yeah. Well, she, she used to be a uh, page in WWE. She looks like Daria. She does kind of look like Daria. She's very gothy. And uh, yeah, she's very gothy. What about this one? Julia Hart. Talk about Ooh. goth. Look at that hat. It's, she's, like, it's like the Undertaker hat. City witch. It's, it's like she's coming to Austin, Texas for South by Southwest. In 2016. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's, she, uh, she's shopping for antiques at Round Top. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a very local reference. Yeah, I like uh, Kenny Omega. That's, that's the man. He's out with injury right now. Diverticulitis. Hey. Uh, I know that game. Yeah. That's rough. Uh, that's he sex. was supposed to have a pay-per-view match, and he came out and cut a promo, and everyone went, Man, he looked pretty rough. And then a day later, it's him in a hospital bed going, hey, guys, going to miss the pay-per-view this Sunday. And it's like, oh, fuck. He needs to drink Marilax. Yeah, he probably, he probably yep. has to yep. for the rest of yep. his life. I yep. know that game. Yep. Tag, te tag teams, oh, it's the Lucha Bros. The Lucha Brothers. Oh. Uh, Bros? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Penta and Phoenix. These guys are great. Great luchadors. How do you feel about Alex Reynolds? Uh, he's great. He's uh, part of the Dark Order. I don't think he should have a beard, but that's just me personally. Um, I gotta be honest with you, that yeah. jacket and those pants do not go. It, no, no, no. But that's during an entrance where he was uh, with a team with like a cowboy. So oh, he's, like, so he was meeting out with like, he was kind of like meeting gotcha, in the middle. Yeah. Like his gear with the cowboy guy. It was a very cool entrance. He was the Brooks and Dunn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a, some sort Ooh. of Matt art card, upper deck canvas card. That's cool with, with pack, pack on it. Yeah. Who's Pac? Pac is from uh, Newcastle upon Tyne, I think. And uh, he is very British or we Welsh, I guess. And uh, Oof. he's fucking jacked to the gills. And uh, when he, his finishing move is called the Black Arrow. He does a gainer off the top rope, but he also does like a full corkscrew rotation with it. Uh -huh. so it's, a, it's a forward moving backflip with a full spin rotation. It's fucking wild. Is he, he the only one that does that? No, I've seen other people do it, but he's the first one I've ever seen do it. Sounds very Greg Luganus. Yes. He's very athletic. Wow. What we got? Chris Jericho. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Chris Jericho. He's Classic. been around forever. Classic Chris Jericho. Does he still do it, or is this an old yeah. card? Yeah. No, he's still going. Uh, Nick Jackson, one half of the Young Bucks. Wow. One of the guys who started the company. Huh. Party animal. Yep. 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 Yeah, he looks like he's in uh, that... Uh... Party animals? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I mean, it's definitely the gear, the flashy gear, to, you know, designed to catch the eye and make everyone go, oh, fuck, it's working. Yeah, party do you wish that you could, do, Would you ever be rest, do rest? Uh, I mean, I do commentary, I know, but, like, but... Uh, but, like, actually, like, taking the bumps fucking sucks. Yeah. It hurts so bad. There's at, at Fitter. Yeah, FTR, great tag team. Maybe, What's FTR stand for? Uh, fuck the revival. Their old tag team <laughs> name was the revival, wow. and then they left. Yeah. What? Do you, how do you feel about Excalibur? It's oh. Not just the sword oh. anymore. He. I saw this guy wrestle in 2004. It, uh, he started a company called Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Now he's the lead commentator for AEW. He doesn't wrestle anymore, and I think he lives in San Diego. Hey, uh, is it you under that mask? It's not. It's not. Thank <laughs> you. Have you ever been in the same place at the same time? Yes. I just said I watched him wrestle. I've never seen it. Yeah. It's Brian true. Danielson. Where's the Where's the proof? Fuck. Uh, ooh. Right How about Jim Ross? Oh, the Hall of Famer. Still wrestling. He is a. Um, <laughs> no. He's the. He's a commentator. His whole thing is that he's an Oklahoma guy, and when he comes out and he's in Austin, he uh, comes out to the Boomer Sooner song. And he puts up the horns, and he puts down the horns. And everybody goes, yeah, boo! It's great. See, Gracie hates it. This is a fucking very cool card. Okay. Ooh. It's Chris Statlander. Oh, nice. But it's like a, like oh, a wow. see-through see cell card, but it's also, 
I don't know if you can tell, but it's raised. Oh, neat. Yeah. I've never seen a card like, like this Like a puzzle before. piece. Yeah. Almost, really, yeah. Would you sleep really neat. Yes, of so, course. Do you know who Chris Stat... Oh, who was it again? Yeah, Chris Statlander was the first card that we Chris opened. Statlander. She's a she's a great, great wrestler. She's fantastic. Former uh, TBS champion. That's probably the coolest card the I've Turner seen. Turner Broadcast mm -hmm. Station mm -hmm. champion. They're on TBS and TNT. Yeah, it's definitely up there, isn't it? It's a really cool card. I've never seen one like Way to go, that. AEW. You figured it out. It's nice. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Uh, oh, here's <laughs> Ruby Soho. Oh yeah, so this is like a like a punk rock kind of thing. Uh huh. And yeah, could you guess what her theme song is? I, I'm gonna guess it's a rancid song. Uh huh. I can't place the song. Went to the pay per view, and when she came out and had a match, they dropped a curtain. They said, "Ladies and gentlemen, rancid." And then they played Ruby Soho. Rancid it was, played. It was fucking crazy. Wow. It was fucking. It was like what? What? Ha, and so now I've seen Rancid. <laughs> it's wow. wild. That is wild. Yep. Uh, Rick oh, Knox. Referee, referee Rick Knox. He's that looks great. like Billy Corgan. It does kind of look like Billy Corgan. Uh, Fade Cargill with what may be the most powerful looking legs I've ever wow. seen. Her name is Jade Cargill. She oh, just Jade. went over. She went over to Jade? WWE and she debuted, I guess, technically last night at the Royal Rumble. Oh. Ooh, how about uh, Sammy Guevara and Tay Mayo Mello? Ty Mello, yeah. They're, All in the family. They are married. Oh. Yeah, they met at AEW and they got married. Uh, Sammy, Sammy Guevara. He uh, <laughs> wrestled here a lot in Austin uh, at AAPW, where I do commentary. Do you, oh, it's a gold parallel. Let's sleeve this. Neat. Do you think, uh, do you think it's a happy marriage? They just had a kid, so probably. Oh, good for that's them. What, I hope that's what happens, out. right? You have a yeah. kid and then He's wearing her on his shirt. Yeah. He's that's, supporting. That's mm -hmm. really great. Like how you support me with Clutch My Pearls podcast. Listen to it. <laughs> uh, that's so dominant of you I love it hey listen to it or I'll set a gas station on fire yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no 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 if you they don't to... listen to it then yeah. you'll set the gas station on fire but it'll be your gas station and yeah. if you don't own a gas station I'll make you buy one mm -hmm. first and then mm -hmm. if they do listen to it will you tell them that they're good girls be a good girl oh. Oh. gross oh. Uh, Ray Phoenix gross. This is yeah, let's get back of, to the uh, pro wrestling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's go back to the dudes of yeah, dudes. Yeah, that's right. It's a diamond plate yeah. parallel, I guess. Ray right. Phoenix is a phenomenal professional wrestler. Wait, he is great. That, please? Uh, I'll be a good Taya girl. Valkyrie. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Taya Valkyrie. Wear a loca. I like it. What? That what? She wrestled in Mexico a lot, and they called her uh, Wear a loca. The crazy white girl. <laughs> Como Suke uh, 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 Takeshita? Yeah, Takeshita, yeah. Takeshita. Uh, he is uh, so fucking big and so fucking strong and so fast. It's crazy. Here's uh, another all in the family. Not, oh, it's Taz, brother. Uh, Look at Taz. Taz. What you is his that little hair? Wiener. So, you can see his little wiener. It, right you can't. So Taz. You can't see his little pee-pee. In the, in the 90s, Taz was a pro wrestler. Now he's a commentator, and his son, Hook, is a wrestler in AEW now, and it's uh, it's great. Action, he wrestled with Action Bronson. Did he really? Yeah. They were on a tag oh, team. Oh, that's it's awesome. really cool. Brody King. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. That's a... Uh, he's very, uh, uh, very, very goth. Very fucking... Oh. All, he is... You can't see there. All tattoos. All, like, just everywhere. Looks kind of like Adam Ellis. He does look like Adam Ellis. He looks funny. like he blow dries his beard straight. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Austin Gunn. Oh, hell, yeah. Ooh. Billy Gunn's son. Uh, who is his mom? Machine Gun. Yeah, this is uh, fun. Tag teams, Young Bucks. Yeah, they uh, Those Young Bucks guys. They get up the to it, don't they? They, they, brother, don't they? They get up to some stuff. We are all elite, MJF. It's MJF, former uh, world champion. Do you think that's an authentic Burberry scarf, or he got it like? Oh, I think I think when he was on the Indies, when I saw him at the back room of AFS and I watched him wrestle, I don't think that was an authentic Burberry scarf. <laughs> I think that one might be. Here's a Dazzler, Chris, Chris Statlander. Hey. A lot of Statlander cards. Wow, that's a cool card. Look at yeah. that. It's like fireworks. There I used to have that, that there. Uh, Anthony Bowens. Nice. Swerve Strickland. Oh, now, yeah. that's a cool fucking name. He is, uh, that guy's... Sky's the limit for Swerve Strickland. He really? Is, yeah, he's going to be probably a world champion this year. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is so good, and he's been so good for so long, but, man, he just put it all together. It's been really fun You to know watch. what, though? Hmm. Not if Paul Turner has anything Whoa! to say about it. Senior referee Paul Turner. Oh, man. Look at him. They made him pose for that. Probably, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, come on. Give me a little bit. Put your arm. Gonna... Like, give me. Oh, that's. 
mean. <laughs> I know, I know. That's the best one they got. Oh, Paul. Wardlow. Yeah, the war wow. dog. He big. He is. He's very big. Set. Buddy Matthews. Yeah. Ooh. He's uh he oh. looks crazy. He's he's fucking jacked too. as hell. Look at his look at his abs. He's so big. Now this is not a what I would call a flattering photo, but okay. maybe it is. You might know him better. Uh, Matt Menard. Oh yeah, his nickname is Daddy Magic, and that's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> da uh. Daddy Magic. Daddy we'll Magic. Uh. Matt Menard. That's the creep that shows up to your kid's birthday party <laughs> to be the magician. What do you mean you talk about Daddy Magic? Uh. Uh, Hikaru Shida. Oh yeah, hell yeah, Hikaru Shida, uh, former AEW Women's Champion. How about Nyla Rose? Former AEW Women's Champion. Uh, Cl the Green Pyro, Claudio Castagnoli. Yeah, oh, wow. the most money-making man. That one's numbered. Yeah. 349. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, that's the first numbered card we've got today. Oh, wow, it really comes alive right there. I Ooh. watched him uh, wrestle. Eh. It was probably in 2005. <sighs> I watched him wrestle a whole match in a headlock. Really? It was like 15 minutes long and half the crowd Fucking Did, hated it. The guy's arm like froze up and they couldn't get it out. No, so they're like, him, just wrestle through. Him and another card that we got earlier, Brian Danielson, they just went, we're going to go out there and just do a headlock. Okay. And the whole match was in a headlock. It was fucking great. Incredible. There's powerhouse Hobbs. He's jacked. That guy's so fucking big. It's insane. There's Trent Moreno. Yeah, it's Trent. Does he, have a, is he a lumberjack? Yeah, in this match, it was a lumberjack match. So he came out like a lumberjack. Big Greg right there. Did he win? Uh, no, he was on the outside. He was one of the lumberjacks. Did he uh, chop any wood? No, he came out with an axe handle, though. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. An You're, the handle. E is just like my friend Andrew Douglas. It's really something. There's Pac Stick? again. Yep. How do you get, like, his chest is so fucking big. What the fuck? His arms, his shoulders are, like, insane. Do you want me to take my shirt off? It's not that hard. <laughs> just get it's a, a different kind of big. It just, it, just takes, <laughs> it just takes discipline. Oh, okay. Uh, do, Darby Allen. Yeah, hell yeah. Do they uh, test for worms in the... <laughs> they do. They do. Yes. Really? Yeah. yeah. But they, they don't do. care. <laughs> Look, look, no, they I'll, test to make sure you have worms. Yeah. Like saying, everybody's required to have worms. You just asked if they test for it. I'm saying yeah. yes, they do. But do they give a shit? All no. I'm saying is they test for it. Smart Mark Sterling. Oh, he's a uh, he's a lawyer. His character is he's a lawyer. He looks There's like a it. Yeah. Gold parallel for Dax Harwood. Dax Harwood wow. from FTR. He looks like a dude you'd have a beer with. Yeah, he. I think he's from Kill Devil, Devil Hills, North Carolina. I think that's great. Oh, here's a playing card for Double or Nothing, Ricky Starks. He's from. So he trained at AAPW. He's from Austin, oh. Texas. I see him all the time at these shows in Austin now. Really? Yeah, he lives here. And so it's just him. We go I shoot promos and stuff for like this wrestling thing, and then he's just at the Should fucking get him thing. to sign the fucking Ada? Yeah. yeah. Probably not. Ada Hart's that, card. Uh, Be like, uh, hey, hey, man, uh, I see you at all these hey, things. Hey, brother. And, um, you know, would you sign this double <laughs> or nothing? Ray Phoenix and Panta L Zero M. Do you know what they were called? They're the Lucha Brothers. The Lucha Brothers. There they are. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, these dudes again. The Young Bucks. Whee. And then it's a whole tag team section. And then this guy. Oh, La, La, Los, La, La Faction Ingobernable. They're, they're ungovernable. Oh, an ungovernable faction. Yes. I like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty cool. Preston Vance and uh, uh, Roosh. But now we have more cards to open? Yeah, now we're not done yet. You'd think we're uh, done, but we're going to open up some Dick Tracy cards. Uh, Everybody loves Dick Tracy. You remember that movie? Hey, Dick Tracy, I'm Pruneface. Oh, we're about to see it. Hey, Pruneface, I'm uh, Dick Tracy. Steve the Tramp. Hey, Prune, <laughs> Prune Tracy. He does look like a prune. Calling Dick Tracy. I hate this movie. It's yeah. so ugly. Tracy was tarnished. Stop looking Spying at it. Spying on the bad guys. Who did we realize was his Abducted sister? by Big Boy. That we were surprised Who, by? Dick Tracy? The blank. Warren Beatty. Warren Beatty's sister is... That we didn't believe it. God, it's like, something crazy. I, oh, I'm, I'm looking it up. You gotta look it up now. Uh, itchy, speaking of. Uh, oh, here's Captive Crown Powder. These are in great condition, though. Trust Tess. Wasn't Madonna in this movie? A Ride into Danger. Confronting Breathless. Shirley MacLaine? Shirley MacLaine. Yes, that's Bug what it Bailey. was. What? Yeah, yes. Warren Beatty and Shirley MacLaine are brother and sister. What? Isn't that nuts? Mike Steiner. Uh, this kid had his faith restored. From that's prison? the kid He's from. That's the kid from uh, the <gasps> Secret Garden who was. Oh, yeah, that is the kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally right. He's like, I'm gonna box your ears. Mysterious Observer. Cool. All right. Well, that and was. And the kid from Hook. Kid Tracy. Kid Tracy. What? Dick Tracy. <laughs> Dick kid. What? <laughs> what's something that's like super fun and cool that we can open? Super fun. And yeah. Cool? What's a cool fun like, what's one? What's something that uh, I would give a shit about? Oh. 
Something that Emily would care about. Some Barbie cards. Oh, I do care about that. That might be my pick. Okay, let's see what Maybe we Maybe we can find here. one that matches one of my girls' outfits, even though I already got one. Uh, oh, starting off with 1990 Barbie. Ah! Wow. It's, still, it's still in the box at my mom's house. Is it really? Yeah. Are you allowed you to play with it? No, you can't open those. <laughs> You're not allowed <laughs> You're to. You're not allowed to. Are those yours or your mom's? They hold value. Are they yours or your mom's? They're mine. But you're not allowed to. It open was them. the Christmas Barbie. You're not allowed to. Open are you no, allowed because... to take them? To, are you allowed to have them? Yeah, but that means that they would be in our storage unit. But right oh now, I can. I, right now, I can hide them in my mom's guest room. She doesn't know. 1986 Barbie. Uh, business Barbie. That's the year I was born. 1962 Barbie. She's cute. Uh, 1982 Barbie. Duh, that mm. is, yeah. that's like a nighty. Justice for Swellen. Uh, <laughs> 1978 Barbie. Ooh. Ooh. She's got a, like she's a little a flamenco party. dancing dress yeah. on. Uh, 1988 Barbie. She's boots. Oh my God, I had that skirt. Yes, I did. I that's it. awesome. Uh huh. Like in real life or in Barbie's? Ugh, world? I wish I had in real life, but in Barbie's world. 1966, it's a very. Uh, Jackie O. Barbie. You gotta get a hat like that. Uh, 1989 Barbie. That looks like every girl I knew in 1989. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like Taylor Swift. <laughs> 1969 Barbie. Oh, cute. And then another 89. Hey. Guys, there yeah. you go. That's, that's, that's the fine. Barbie. 89 Barbie. Yeah. That's She's out Barbie. dancing all night long. That's the Barbie who, like, you look at her clothes now and you're like, that was Hooker Barbie. Hell like, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That's my Barbie, baby. Yeah. Then we're gonna open up two packs, Alan and Gabby. Oh, cool. I care about oh, yeah. this. And then okay. we're gonna fuck with the top scrum. Yeah? Yeah, we'll see if we get that up. McDonald's? We had McDonald's today. We did. I wish they'd bring the Nugget Buddies back. They've been doing ads with different Nugget Buddies. Yeah. Yeah, they have. Ha I know, it bugs Which me. makes me think they're gonna bring them back. Did you let Mark have some fries? Mark is your dog. No, he can't have any people food. Mm. He can't have people food. Okay. Uh, it's amazing that nobody eyes, yeah. has guessed his name. Ooh, Baby Ruth. <laughs> Baby Ruth. I, uh, I watched a TikTok the other day of Babe Ruth giving hitting lessons to kids. It was pretty cool. Well, really? Yeah. Did he have a cigarette like, in his mouth? He's like, there's two ways to hit a ball. There's the full swing and the tap swing. Here, kid, hold my beer. Uh, <laughs> here's a uh, Stephen Kwan rookie. That's cool. Uh, Glabar Torres. Aaron Judge never did anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, Vinny Pascatano rookie. That's cool. Got ourselves a mini uh, Ricky Henderson. Oh. Yeah, I feel like that's like the 10th hey, one of those we've gotten. Me. Piano! Hey. Oh. I want to get a fucking rip card. Yeah, you wish. I do. We still have a bunch of boxes of stuff unopened. Uh, Austin Meadows, Alex Bregman. How about a little bit of wisdom, Patrick? Uh, <laughs> Caroline O'Connor. Who's Caroline O'Connor? Who's do? that? Caroline O'Connor is the president of business operations for the Marlins. There you go. Okay, I'll allow uh, it. Salvador Perez. <laughs> Before I launch it. Salvi. Bo Jackson. Yeah, Speech nice. about why you need a card. I watched a fucking a clip of Bo Jackson playing for the Royals the other day where he threw somebody out from left field. Oh, yeah, home. yeah, yeah, yeah. See yeah. that throw? Uh -huh. Insane. Yeah, it's just a fucking, like, laser. Just a he laser. Just, it's so fast. He throws it so hard. Uh, Kershaw doing some shit. Ooh. And then, uh, ooh, it, uh, this is France, the Lascaux Cave. Oh, it's a wonder in the world. Ooh. Little mini. It's a wonder in the world. Yeah, wonder of the world. <laughs> it's a wonderful world. I suppose so. It looks like the cave at Silver Dollar City, which is where I want to you know, go as I can't, well. I can't be stopped. I want to open one. You doing more, more Ginter? I just, I can't, it's all I want to open ever. I mean, why we don't we just, just be do an, an Alan and Ginter podcast? Why don't we just do an episode where it's Alan and Ginter? Maybe we will. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they'll put you on the card next year. Sorry for the good idea. That's my fault. Bryce Trang, base rookie. Paul Goldschmidt. Maybe we will, Eric. There you Maybe go. Maybe we now will. We're, now we're talking. Javier Baez. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Who's Dre Jameson? I'm not familiar with him. Uh, Wears his hat like a dickhead, but that's a rookie <sighs> card. Uh, Andre Jimenez. Greg Maddox. Uh, ooh, <laughs> it was Chicago. <laughs> Yeah, he played for Chicago. Oh, I remember. It's just of the cards that you would put him on, and that's not... Oh, you don't associate him with the Cubbies? You but... do? Well, I was a kid when he played for him. I remember him playing for him. I don't know who Greg he Maddox? Is. When I was a kid. Yeah. In the 90s? Yeah. He was a 20-year-old child. <laughs> I was 18 in 94. I was still a kid until I was, like, 30. <laughs> I was still a kid Played for the Braves. I so remember much. for a very long time him and John Smoltz. Yeah, and you do, and you associate him with the Cubs. I remember him playing for the Cubs when you were a kid. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, I was a kid until like five years ago. What the fuck? Angor Watt. Whoa. Mini. That's cool. 
I think you should do one more pack of melon and ginter. Hell yeah. I I do one of the big boxes to see if we got a top card. Uh, I don't think I have any. Oh, they're not in here. Ginter in here. That's fine. But I do have this yeah. top card. Ah. Yeah, he gave up. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of nonsense. Okay. What if we got? We're gonna get either we're gonna get a Bronny and 700 people I haven't heard of yet because they're all in high school. Yet. Here we go. First pack goes to pack stack. Oh, Let's do it. Oh boy. Here we go. Two autograph cards per box. So we're guaranteed two autographs. How sad would it be if we didn't get a Bronny? How sad. How sad will it be? Uh, Omaha Baloo, Aaron Bradshaw. Reed Shepard Silver Parallel. Number one. Omaha Blue again. That's a name as a place. Thank Na you. Okay, name as a place. There you go. That's a good call, isn't it? Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, ooh, Isaiah Collier, uh, Madison Booker. Holy shit, that's a cool parallel. Uh, Kaimora Johnson Blue Sparkle ooh. Parallel. That's a cool card. Yeah. Tops a, tops a good parallel. And this is numbered to 99. So ooh. there you go. Uh, Andres Stajankovic put this, he puts the Stajank on it. It's cool. When you watch this video in like four years and this is the best player in the NBA and we can't say his name, just you can make fun of us. Yeah, Just absolutely. leave a comment making fun of us. Leave a comment that says I'm from the future. I'll make it fun of you. It's Wimbenyama. Uh, hey. Jeremy Fears <laughs> Jr., Justin Edwards, Silver. Uh, Michaela Williams, Future Stars Parallel. Courtney Ogden. You feel like they're figuring it out with Wimbenyama? Do you think they're they're finally like passing it to him? I think H E B figured it out with their commercials. With dude, them. how oh, they stack up all the we, ice cream and the creatures there? Can we talk uh, about okay. the real winner of Victor Wimbenyama going into the NBA? And who's that? It's H E B. Oh yeah, because they have that deal. You know, if you're first. not familiar, yeah. in Texas we have a grocery store called H E B. It's the best grocery store on earth. Here, everything's better. Any anybody <laughs> in Texas will agree with this and tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, and you just gotta you just gotta go to know. But uh, they do, they have a partnership with the San Antonio Spurs, have forever. So, yep. like, for the last 20 years, I've been having to watch Manu Ginobili <laughs> hump ice cream and fucking strawberries and shit, mm -hmm. or Tony Parker, or Tim Duncan, who acts like Wood. He's yes. just like, he's a wonderful basketball mm -hmm. player. Wonderful the big dude. fundamental, baby. Big fundamental, but just can't. It can't act as we out of a box. However, this Jeremy Sochan, uh, Victor Wimbenyama thing, where they're they have like funny colored ice cream hair. They're doing a they're doing a bunch yep. of like they they got a bunch of commercials. They're all good. Mm -hmm. Kids, kids can already act. Having, having fun and, and everything. Did you see what happened the other night at the game? What game? No. The Spurs game? Mm -mm. There was a bat. Oh, oh I did oh, see yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, bat on the, on the, a, field. Another, the field. Another bat on the court. So the creature dressed up like Batman, and Mono Ginobili was there, and they caught the bat with a net. The creature <laughs> caught a bat. And I he already had the Batman costume ready? Oh, it's not the first time this has happened. Is this, is a, this is a pretty regular occurrence. Weird. Yeah. Waves parallel Jade and Donovan. It's like why really, it doesn't make really pretty card. the news anymore because it happens so frequently. Wow. Yeah. Monty Ginobili was there. I hate him, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I've hated him for a very long time. Uh -huh. But he said he had one of the funniest fucking tweets or X's or whatever mm -hmm. you call it, where it's just a picture of him like looking like he's half asleep at yeah. the game. And he's like, I can't believe I used to be on the court this late at night. <laughs> he can't even stay awake in the crowd. He's like, it's after 9 p.m. That's fucking great. Uh, Kobe Williams, Zoe Brooks. Oh, shit. Here's our auto. Uh, Mackenzie uh, Mogabo. Oh, but Mugabo. it's but it's on Mugbaco. like on sticker. sticker. Yeah, what is that parallel too? That's really cool. Yeah, sticker. Congratulations. It's oh shit, number to twenty five. Oh wow, Holy autograph card. Oh, that's, that's really gorgeous. cool. Yeah, please have a huge NBA career and I can buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Modest Bazels. Let's see what our next. So would this is. be our only? Oh, two. There's two. two. Okay. Be two in there. If we don't get a second one, it's uh, probably in the, in the pack sack. Yeah. And that means if we don't get the second one, that means we should definitely go into the sack pack sack and grab it. Yeah. Uh, here's McKinsey again. Silver parallel. Tessa. It's fun to think that these these kids, right now, eight years from now, seven yeah. eight years from now, they got a little bit of time ahead of them, could be the best basketball players in the world. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Bradshaw. Aiden Holloway, All-American all Silver Parallel, Jada Williams. I think those are all silver. Those all like, girls. how you feel about that is why I love independent pro wrestling, because it's yeah. all the same people, and you're going to be like, oh, in 10 years, these are the people that are, like, headlining everything. Jaden Donovan, Silver Parallel, that's nice. Mackenzie and Xavier Booker. Still not a single, not even a, not even a base. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh. Wild. Do you think the creature's in here? Do you think that we'll get a creature, a card of the San Antonio Spurs? Dude, I hope we get 
I hope we do. Who's yeah, your favorite just, mascot? Aiden do you Holloway, Aaliyah Del Rosario. I love the swinging anyway, fryer. Blow through these. The, pod, the Padres mascot. He's a, he's, a, he's a fryer and he swings baseball bat. He's pretty cool. Fryer? Like a monk, Padre. Oh. Is that why they're called that? What? Aaliyah Cunningham. What? Yeah, what did you Holloway. think? What did you think the Padres were? The daddies? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Run on. But like a like a church, like it's a religious thing? Uh, I guess so, yeah. What's that? It's a fucking cool card, is what it is. It's not Bronny, but it is a Kimora Johnson McDonald's parallel. Uh -huh. You can see the golden arches in the card. Oh, Isn't that cool? Oh, that's I've never cool. seen that before. Oh, how crazy. That is so fucking neat. That's neat. That is awesome. Very neat. Yeah, I would say that maybe the uh Remember, did you ever see the uh, Chargers mascot, Boltman? Uh-huh. And he's like an insane lightning bolt man with sunglasses on. I don't know that he's a favorite anymore, but boy, he's got a soft spot in my heart because uh, he just looks insane. And then uh, I think the creature is definitely up there. The San Antonio creature is pretty he's, cool. He's pretty great. Yeah. I got it. Even though I'm having a hard time hating San Antonio right now, and I really want to. Yeah, I get uh, it. Jada Williams. I've hated him for so for most of my life yeah. as a basketball team. Mm -hmm. And uh I'd say they're, they're historically my easily my least favorite basketball wow, team. Wow, really? Yeah, wow. but I like Keldon Johnson. Obviously, everybody likes Victor with yep. I kind of like Sochan. I like, they got a lot of fun. Devin Vassell, I believe, is mm -hmm. him. He's pretty good. Uh, KK so Arnold. That player that looked like you. Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, Can we see it? Uh, Not yet. He'll get to it. Uh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Uh, Melissa Foley. Yep. Uh, Kimar Justin. Uh, an actual hit. Uh, a brawny silver. <gasps> oh, wow. Chrome. Nice. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Leave it, baby. So, I mean, it's not numbered or anything, but it is a, they, in tops they call them refractors. So this is yep. a chrome refractor. <laughs> so that's the equivalent of a silver. Very one. cool. Wee. Wow, that's, that's actually That's fun for you. I wonder what, the, fun for all of us. It's fun for all of us. Um, Emily, do you have a favorite mascot? Uh, well, I love the elephant from the WNBA, the New York one. Uh, mm. I think her name's Ellie. The sexy Ellie. She's uh, great. Ooh, Mookie what Cook about the? Uh, what about cool. the? Oh, there's your other auto. Yep. Uh, what about? I think his name's Stompy or Stomper or something. The fucking Alabama. It, no, the mascot for the A's. Isn't that his name? Is that his name? I think so. I'm surprised. I feel like there's one mascot that Emily loves above all other mascots, and I'm, I'm amazed she's not picking him. I mean, I love the. Philly fanatic, and I love. Ugga? Well, uh, rip, gone too soon. Yeah, Ugga just died. Ugga just died. Ugga? The bulldog from the bulldog University, from the of Georgia. University of Georgia. His name's Ugga because it's University of Georgia. Oh, okay. And so his fa the family that owns him, every time they die, he, they they get they get a new one, and uh -huh. then they care they care for Ugga and take him to the games yeah. and stuff. And yeah. Ugga go, they stay in like their own little like air conditioned house because it's so hot in Georgia. Yeah. But yeah, the the Ugga just passed away. So I mean they'll have a new one next year. But he was the eighth Ugga. So I think. sad. How many uh, how many Longhorns have they had? How many Bevos are there or whatever? Bevo once charged at Ugga. That's at a game. true. I saw that. I yeah. That's that. true. Yeah, and that was cool. Ugga, I wanna... Ugga almost had to fuck that guy. Yeah, Ugga almost I wanna had watch, to have their. I want to watch a dog man. fight a cow. Dude, Ugga would take that. There have been fifteen down. Bevos. Oh Have you ever met Bevo, Gracie? I've been close. I've been uh, close. Guys, we got a third auto. <laughs> Woo, we got a third <laughs> auto? Yeah, we did. Oh. How? I don't know. That's rare. What Don if Stewart, more? Jared yeah. McCain, and uh, and Andre Stojakovic. Hey, oh, the guy that you is said. Is that the guy with the That's name? That's the guy. Yeah, the guy with the name. Dude, if we can't say this guy's name and he's a hit, make fun of us so fucking hard. We'll Please do. Future. I'm making fun of you, bro. Please well, do. if you make fun of us so hard when he's super big and we sell this for a car, we'll yeah. put your username on our license plate. You know, wow. You know what we uh, uh, what we found out today at the vet? What's that? We had to take a little wow. baby dog. Uh-huh. Baby whose boy. Whose name we can't say. Yeah. We take him in to get his shots. Uh, his latest round of shots so that he can be around other dogs and stuff now, yeah. essentially. Uh -huh. uh, we found out today that he's going to need nose surgery when he's, he's six gonna, months Because old. they're such little freaks. I but... was, was going to say, wow, no way. The dog that breathes like this already? <laughs> yeah, apparently they he's got it. it extra bad. And Ugh. she was like, yeah. He's, yeah she's they like, open up his, like, it's basically, I was telling Gracie that it's kind of like the surgery they do for people with, like, sleep apnea, yeah. where it's like they take out the soft palate. It's good that, you Your know, dog has sleep apnea, but he's awake? Yeah, he has a wake apnea. He's a wake apnea? So he'll uh, get that later when he's older, when they fix him, when they take his little balls out. You just get a Shohei Otani card? Uh, yeah, just a base card. But I was going to show yeah. this. I, I saw these at Walmart. It's just like a $6 pack, uh -huh. and in it is Topps Japanese Baseball. One pack, and then you get like some free How crazy. Like, regular Topps cards. So I bought this. Are, they all get. Are the other ones all angels? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you just got like a pack of like various angels. That's a good catch. How weird. weird. So let's well, see what these are. I think the other one's are. like Rendon, and it made me go, ew. 
Takeru I don't want uh, to be part of Sasaki. Of Are these Japanese teams? Yuki Japanese players Yamagita. In, yep, in Japanese teams. Yep, that's the soft Oda. Uh, this guy's Japanese. name is just Brandon. Well, he's, I mean, not everyone is from Japan that plays in the <laughs> Japanese league. Yeah, but his name is just Brandon. He doesn't have a last name. <laughs> he probably has a last name. It just says Brandon. <laughs> He's Brandon. He plays infield. There's no other Brandon in uh, on the teams. Can you sleeve Brandon, please? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hikaru Oda. Yeah. Wow. This guy. He plays for the Lions. Shota Suzuki. Munitaka. Kazuma. You're better at reading Yamato. these than hockey names. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying here. Uh, Koji Chikamoto. Uh -huh. um, Tsubasa Kato. Kato. Uh, Tsubasa Aizawa. We got two Tsubasas in a row. Cool. Wow. Related by first name. And then, uh, oh boy. Uh, Masahashi Ito Itohi. So after Ito. they say their name, do they say their position or something? Because someone was that, saying that's that a pitcher. He's a pitcher. Brandon, yeah. uh, it's, it meant that he was left field on there. His oh, name that's an is, infield, but is an LF. Or, or maybe or IF, but someone yeah. in the chat because I'm yeah, that's his... reading now. Uh, they thought that was his last name, but it's not. It's just his <laughs> Brandon position. Brandon Yeah, <laughs> that's Brandon. his position. Yeah. And then there's the cool rookie cards. They have a little RCs. Yeah. In them. I've never seen these before. All right, I'm going to pull those. Hey, I guess that's it yeah. for us today. Uh, we didn't get a brawny autograph, but we did get a brawny silver refractor, which is, true, is pretty fucking cool. It's probably, mm -hmm. I'll have to look it up, but I bet it's a $100 yep. card. Well, stay tuned uh, for uh, more of this show. We'll be back next week, I think, unless it's a holiday or it's a holiday in two weeks. Holidays and there's President's um, Day someday. Two weeks. And uh, who knows? Maybe the Allen and Ginter episode is next week. Who can say? Um, th Gracie's holding up the number three now, and uh, that'll do it for us here. Go watch Does It Do, please, and leave a comment and say, wow, I love Does It Do. Listen to So All Right and Clutch My Pearls. If you don't, Eric will kill you. Yeah, yeah. I'll kill you. I don't care. What the fuck ever. Here, camera <laughs> on me. I'll kill you. I don't, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, scary.